Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday, November 22nd. Last trading day this week. Or actually, I shouldn't say this week, but uh, we have Thanksgiving tomorrow and the markets will be closed tomorrow. So last day here before the holiday. S&P up 12, NASDAQ up 73, and the Dow up 47. So the S&P has had more than a 0.25% pop overnight. So that means reverse iron condor for those zero DTE traders. See if that works out or not. VIX all the way down to... Uh, 12.94. Crazy. It seems like just a couple weeks ago, it was up to almost 20. Good morning, Bumblebee. Uh, NVIDIA had a good report after earnings. Currently about flat though, but uh, bell has rung. So we'll see if we can get a couple trades in today. It's usually a light trading day, usually low volume. So, we'll see how things go. We'll use the two days expiration options chain to DTE. A lot of stocks pushing up here.
Tesla coming down, Nvidia coming down a little bit. Amazon up over 2%, AMD up over 2%, strongest stocks on the board here. Yep, we're live. All right, getting our second bar here. So let's see what happens with volume. I'm never too uh, optimistic on days before holidays, but we will see. Just never know. Nice push up by some of these stocks, really. <laughs> Apple surging up. Yes, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better. When my voice sounds a little bit better, I still have this just cough that sometimes drives me nuts. But yes, thank you. It's uh, still going through cough drops and congestion medicine. So AMD... It's like it's going to get a big volume bar. Thanks. Thank you, Bumblebee. I'm keep my eye here on the AMD. <laughs> I 
I'm sure it's affected by NVIDIA uh, having such great earnings. So if AMD comes down about to this pivot, that's where I'd like to get in. And then uh, somebody asked me about a, where where do you where do you get out of a, a volume runner? So if it would come down below where the start of this price is, that that would be your exit. So low risk. If we can get a little pullback there. Again, it's the two days to expiration. So I would trade the 123 calls. Try to get filled at a buck sixty. Uh, AMD, AMD, sorry. Go to the buck sixty in AMD. That was the one twenty three calls. And I would close half at a buck seventy five. Oh man, it's already pushed up there. See if I can get filled at a buck eighty. Now nah, I'll put it back at a buck seventy-five actually. Build at a dollar seventy-five. So out of half of that, Get out of another get out of another one at a buck ninety five. Fills a buck ninety five. Nice job, AMD. Nice little volume runner here. See, we find a mighty 90 here now. Tesla staying weak, NVIDIA staying weak, so it's kind of surprising after 
I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if Nvidia ticks a little lower and then at some point it uh starts coming up just because it had such great earnings and you probably you probably have people that were uh it's kind of selling off right now cuz with the big with the good earnings Let's see AMD push here. Meta, yeah, Meta really pushing here. While Nvidia and Tesla are falling. I'll get out of another AMD at 205. I'm just going to put that in just to, in case I don't, in case I miss it. Yeah, NVIDIA really falling here with Tesla, but AMD is not. Disney, yeah, a little potential Mighty 90 short there. It's a good call there, Bumblebee. Take a look at Build a 205 to get out of another AMD. Nice. So let me look at let me look at Disney here. Or a little mighty 90 short. Might be too late. Yeah, I'm too late. Let's see if I'll wait and see if it pushes back up. I was answering Eddie L's question and missed it. Apple kind of looks like it's setting up to be a upside continuation runner. AMD is holding on. Some of these stocks are pushing down right now. Not AMD. It's it's holding. Yeah, I missed Disney. 
That's a good call out there, Bumblebee. Netflix pushing up. Goog looks like it's setting up. Uh, you know, that's got a nice push up here, a little pause. Looks like it wants to go a little higher. Yeah, have another AMD at 225. Build at 225. Beautiful upside volume runner. So NVIDIA, no, that bar's not going to get as big as the first.
How about now? Man, I, my Bluetooth like something funky keeps you know, keeps coming disconnected. So AMD has come down right to where my exit would be on this, unfortunately. Uh, if it bounces, I'll hold it. But if it comes down below where that's at, I'll exit. It was a really nice winter until this happened. This is kind of what you get on a day into a holiday, though. You like, you, like this isn't a, you don't see this very often. Nice upside volume runner, and then you get this big pullback like this. Like you just don't see that, and you get so, so on days before holidays. Um, it is it is important to kind of be careful because you're not. Sometimes you get some funky stuff happening with price action. <laughs> and, and NVIDIA's got a big volume bar to the downside now. So... This is a pretty pretty nice push down by all of these. So if uh, AMD can rebound, I'll hold it. If it looks like it wants to continue lower with the rest of these stocks, then um, I'll just cut. I mean, I had a really nice winner. Yeah, MU Mighty 90. Let's take a look at that. Nice volume pop. Man, options are so cheap, though, man, under a dollar. If you want a smaller stock, I'd go, I'd say go for it. What a bummer, AMD. I'm going to close my AMD. It's filled here. Yeah, just hold for a second. Couldn't, couldn't get filled there. Just trying to get filled at a dollar twenty-five, but now we'll just wait and see what it does. I was gonna get try to get out of dollar twenty-five. I wasn't getting filled. So we'll see. Maybe it's maybe it's uh dipped its toe down below and wants to go back up. So maybe it's a good thing I didn't get filled there. Uh, but MU, yeah, MU is a good setup. It's just so the options are so cheap. I'm not going to trade something under a dollar. But you can if you want. It's definitely... Definitely a good volume pop. I mean, that's what we look for right there, for sure. Right, blockchain, another one. It's just, you know, it's got a really good separation there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get long Amazon here, I think. It's kind of held up through this push down. 146 calls in Amazon. Try to get filled at a buck 40.
Yeah, it's a good job adjusting to get filled there, probably. Yeah, this would be a continuation runner to the upside. Yeah, it looks like it left me. See, it pushed up, and, and you could see how a lot of these stocks flushed. But see how Amazon held? Like it didn't want to continue down like Apple did, Microsoft, um, Roku, Meta. So that's why I was wanting to try to get long there, but... I think it filled. He did a good job of adjusting to get filled. So a dollar forty three, uh, I would get out of half at you know fourteen cents is ten percent. So what is that? A dollar fifty seven. You probably already get out of half. Dang it! I, I missed it. Like I'm gonna cancel my Amazon. And and here's something else about this. So. It's a low risk trade because if it does come down below this point where this red bar is, then I would bail on it. So it turns out to be a low risk. And Baba bleeding lower. See, now you got out of half. If it comes below right this point here, then I would bail on it. And speaking of which, I'm going to go ahead and get out of my AMD. It just hasn't held up. Man, I still can't get out of it. I just have not been able to get filled on AMD. It's so weird. Unbelievable. It's taking all my profits here with just a few contracts left. <laughs> all right. I can't, I can't get out of AMD because it's just falling. So I'm just canceling it and I'm just going to wait until it stops falling. It's so frustrating when it does that. Yeah, Disney Mighty 90 would have gave me two red bars. Yeah, Microsoft falling. Oh. Hopefully you've been able to exit AMD because I haven't been able to. Build at a dollar. Wow. Wow. Out of a dollar in AMD, that was a nightmare. So what turned into a really nice volume runner uh, really ended up disappointing. That was a big winner until this fall right here.
Well, not in anything at the moment here. How's Amazon doing? Oh, yeah. I guess I could have probably got back into Amazon. Or I could have got into Amazon. I did come down. I think uh, NVIDIA is really bringing AMD now, down now. Uh, MU could get Mighty 90 and MU going. That's come back down, so do that. Yeah, it's still just really small, small options, so I'm going to pass on MU. So it's kind of weird, uh, you know. All the markets are green, but things seem to get be getting really weak. I'll go ahead and get long Amazon here on the one forty six calls for that continuation runner. One forty six calls filled at a dollar thirty five. Tesla staying weak alongside NVIDIA. The VIX is really coming up. Things might be getting weak today. I mean, things have been so strong. You can't just keep going up forever. I said 130. Did I did I say 140? I, I don't know if I said 136 call. I meant to say 146. Can't remember if I said 136 or 146. But I would close half my Amazon at 150 at a dollar fifty. And filled at a dollar fifty. 
and Amazon. Nice little push up there. Crazy how much I gave back in um, AMD. Got in a dollar sixteen, got out of a dollar. I mean, that's not something you want to do with a volume runner. Just couldn't get filled. Uh, Mighty nineties. I, I I wait for two green bars. If you're long, that's that's exactly what. Um, so I did yesterday with Nvidia. Ended up being a positive trade. And I added to it as well. So I, I always position size on a mighty 90 so that I can add. So I go in, you know, medium size. And then if I have to, I'll add to it. And then that medium becomes a, a, a larger trade. And then I wait for my two green bars. We got a lot of green stocks. I mean, a lot of stocks are in the green uh, for having so much, so many stocks falling, you know, in the last 20 minutes. I would get out of another Amazon at a buck 65. So we've had a couple of nice mighty 90s. They've just been in stocks for me that are just too small to trade. But typically when you see a setup like MU, you typically will find yourself getting two green bars out of the volume pop like that. If it was over a dollar, I would have traded it. Filled it at $1.65 to close another Amazon. So thank you, Amazon. Things starting to find a little bounce now. Makes me wonder if Amazon's going to go be able to push through highs of day. It's got a pretty tight range, so. There goes your MU. So yeah, so if I would have gotten in right where that mighty 90 was, I probably would have added down at the pivot. Because that's a key level. Meta with a nice little bounce there. Amazon doesn't look like it's going to do it. So, you know, here's something about Amazon. Like, if, if it's just going to keep this tight range the entire time, I mean, it's hard to make money when it's, you're talking about in the last 20 minutes, it's moved about 0.7 points.
Benji trying to grasp the concepts of Airbnb qualify for a continuation run of the way it's holding above the pivot while the market pulled back. Let's take a look. Um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of similar to Amazon. So, and then you could have gotten long right here. And if it then pushed through that key level, you just bail on it. So it becomes, a, you know, it could be a quick, quick trade. It could be like you place it, a couple of minutes goes by and it looks like it's going to continue to fall. You get out, small loss. It's kind of what I'm, see now Amazon, I'm not, like I'm not liking what it's doing here. Because a continuation runner, you want it to eventually continue upward or continue downward, whichever way you're going. So, you know, Amazon's holding and then you want it to go and then push through highs. But, but again, we're, we're a day before the holidays, so you don't always get, you know, that typical pattern of, of movement when you don't. When the volume is low, and it still looks like things want to get weak, honestly. It's kind of hard to tell, actually. You know, it. We're 45 minutes into the market being open, and then you get a lot of slow movement on these these days. You know, it's kind of like a Friday. Day leading into a holiday, you know, it'll be the same thing when Christmas rolls around. You know, you get the last couple of trading days before Christmas. The, the volume's just muted. The price movement's muted. Target. Pushing through highs of day. Like, look at that. I mean, it's look at Target blowing up right now. I mean, that's what you want. That's what I wanted to see from Amazon. I don't know, Target making a big volume bar to the upside. I'm not sure what's going on with Target right now, but. Black Friday sales. It's just hard to make money when Amazon is just moving so tight like that. And I, and I kind of knew that going into it. You know, if, it blow, if it goes below that key level there, I'll bail on it. I'm not sure what's gotten into Tesla bleeding so lower. What's Amazon going to do here? Now, Emmy, uh, so how's Emmy doing? And I kind of came back down, didn't it? And I gave you one bar. Yes, yeah, disappointing. 
AMD still hasn't recovered. I thought maybe it was going to recover here. Amazon's still up over 2%. Um, is it going to go, is it going to take off now or what? I, I mean, I, I never bail. That's just, I follow the rules. That's just the way I am. So if you position sides appropriately, then you should always follow the rules. Uh, I can't remember who it was yesterday, but somebody bailed on NVIDIA and I didn't because I followed the rules and I ended up having a positive trade. I mean, but you know, if you if you've gone in too big, you know it's easy to sometimes freak out when you're when it seems like it's ne you know continuing to fall or continuing to go up if you're short. You know, sometimes, sometimes you do get a flush. I mean, and you know, I've I've done it. I've cut my losses. You know, you know your account size. You know everything. So you just kind of use your judgment. Um, I would say ninety eight percent of the time I follow the rules, and maybe two percent of the time I'll just you know bail on something. Uh, Benji, I saw you post about small US. Yeah, so I mean, I, I don't, I don't figure my percent of my account. Um, I, 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 I never trade more than thirty percent of my account at, at 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 one at one time. You know, so if someone has a ten thousand dollar account, I wouldn't have more than three thousand dollars of buying power wrapped up in a trade at the same time. Um. But for my, for me personally, my small is usually two thousand dollars or under. My medium, and I've found my medium's gotten a little bit bigger in the last few weeks. It's just because I've been doing pretty good. But um, my medium is usually about twenty five hundred to thirty five hundred of buying power, and then my large is probably over four grand of buying power in a trade. So you got to decide what, um, you know, small, medium, and large buying power is for you. If that makes sense. I think if you take a look at if you're large something, oh, here's another thing. I never put on more than three trades at the same at at the same time. Three is my max. So if I have three trades on and they're all four grand or higher, I mean that's about twelve k of buying power. Like I don't have any more than that on at any one time. And I definitely never go more than three in the in the same direction at the same time hopefully that makes sense yeah I mean that's just that's just my own risk management I mean and also like I'm trying to juggle calling out my fills and all that. It's a lot when you've got like, I've just found three is my max because, you know, some people can have four, five, six on at a time. Yeah, exactly. And, and I remember when Steve and I first started doing these trading, these strategies, we'd have six, seven trades on at the same time. <laughs> just like got to be where it was like, I, your mind's, your head's spinning, especially if you're going in, if you're getting two way movement, it's going in two, two different directions. It's just, it's, it's about all I can manage because you're constantly, okay, I need to 
put a working order in for 10% for this, this one. Okay, what's 10% of this? I got to put that in. Yeah. So only a couple trades today. Okay, MU's, MU's giving you another green bar. Hopefully it can get above this pivot and rip one more time higher for you. See, Amazon here, I want it to continue higher. I'm not going to sit through another pullback here with Amazon. Like a lot of these have, have given to, you know, another rip higher where like Apple, this is its fourth green bar in a row now. Uh, you know, where's that with, that's what I want from Amazon. Roku's given his third in a row and meta third in a row. Target's still going goog four in a row. So that's, that's all what I wanted to see Amazon do. <laughs> So I'm not going to get in any more trades. So it is 930 central almost. So Amazon, if it, if it continues higher, I will scale out of it. If it wants to come back down, I'm not going to mess with it anymore. Because you also start getting theta decay when you're just buying puts and, puts and calls. So, um, you know, I got out of half and then I got out of a quarter twice. So... So that's my plan. Um, I will be back on Monday. So hope everybody has a great holiday. Hope you get to spend some time with your families, friends. And then I'll see you all back here next week. So have a great one, everyone. Peace.